praise God. You know, there's a revelation about, you know, false prophets and prophecies these last days. And one of the things that, you know, God is giving and revealing is anything against the revival or contrary to the vision that's been given to the church, you know, at that particular location. Anything that comes in contrary is against God and his vision that he has given to the visionary. And anybody that comes in and says otherwise, you know, uh, greatly misunderstands or are operating in another spirit. And one of the things that the Bible says is don't let your good be evil spoken of. And people say, you know, maybe you should turn the cameras off, you know, when you lay hands on people, you know, it, you know, it's not for, you know, everybody to see or not for to make a, a spectacle of, put a spotlight on, you know, that particular instance, you know, and some say, well, you know, you shouldn't write a book or whatever, you know, but. You know, the Bible says they laid hands on people openly and they would see it. It wasn't a public display and they would say, come out of them in the name of Jesus and all sorts of things. Whoever sees it, sees it. And whoever don't, don't. It's where would our soul, you know, you go ahead and preach a message and be in the spirit and the power of God hit you. And somebody's coming up to you and you and you're told to go lay hands on that person. And it's like a magnet to a to a piece of metal. And you go ahead and try to stop that simultaneously and say, stop the cameras. And, and you'd be somewhere in between all that and be able to try to focus. And, and, and then you might understand. But until then, you have no understanding of, of what's transpiring. And, of course, the devil would want you to, uh, many to not see deliverance um, because it is imparted. Once it leaves the hand, it is imparted to others. And it opens eyes. It trains people. It shows another light to another, you know, um, um, it's a glaring light in the church that it will show, you know, others maybe how to operate and, and um, if they've never seen it before, it will encourage and build faith. And so, yeah, the devil wouldn't want, you know, and the religious wouldn't want that to happen. You know, as for God, we're going to follow him and the Holy Ghost until then, you know, we'll do, you know, what he says. Amen. And you got to have scripture. You got to have scripture back. And when you come and you're spouting off, spouting off, you know, all your knowledge and your wisdom and your great things you've done, you know, you say, turn the cameras off and you got yours on and you're sitting there talking, talking, talking. You know, some people don't realize how much of a hypocrite they are. But anyway, in the name of Jesus, we, we have to block out the negativity and continue in revival. We have to do what we feel is best for our ministry. And then whoever else does whatever they do that works for them, that's fine. But as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And people too too worried about scrutinizing a brother or sister. You see what's going on in Israel? You better pay attention before you get left behind. That's a word to the wise. God bless you. That's a love letter to you. God bless you. Amen. Be imparted with the power of God. Be imparted with the power of God. That red bug. Red bug. I'm going to have to look into that. God bless you. Have a good day in the name of Jesus. Amen. And keep looking up. The time is at hand. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, now is your set up the time to call upon the name of the Lord, and you shall be saved. There's no other way to be saved but by the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Our works, our righteousness, even our obedience can't save, you know, our, our, our um, faith in God and what he has done alone saves and sets the captives free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Even getting water baptized, that doesn't save. They can't save you. You know, you could dip a devil in the, in the, in the river all you want to. It's going to be a wet devil or a dog. You know, it, it has to be conversion of the spirit into the heart. That's the salvation. Praise God. And then you continue in obedience with water baptism and continue in the word. And he'll show you many mighty wonders and many mighty works. Praise God. Keep going. Be encouraged. Don't let nobody discourage you. 
with false doctrine, other doctrine. You know, even if they be a true believer, they could have false doctrine and they can mean well and, and do major upset the revival. They could majorly upset the revival. So just fix your eyes on Jesus and, and follow those that are obedient to the scripture. And, and the leading to the Holy Ghost, as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Holy salute. We'll see you next time.